In this video, I want to show you how you can do meta-analysis in R. Uh, first of all, let's elaborate on what a meta-analysis is and what the difference is to a systematic review. A systematic review does not necessarily have a quantitative component. So it is generally a review to a specific scientific or medical topic. So it's a review. Whereas a meta-analysis, as the name says, is an analysis. It has a quantitative aspect to it. So it is basically um, a summary um, of the statistical data or the, the papers and the statistical content of papers to one specific topic. And it has a quantitative aspect to it. You can do those analyses um, quite well in R. There are several libraries which are supporting that. Um, in this case, I'm using um, the library Meta. So it's um, called M-E-T-A, Meta. Um, and um, we are using the function Metagen in this case, right? So um, as you can see in the help function, um, you need, so that's, um, that's the default function. And um, what you basically need is uh, you need the data set. In this case, it is, I call it aspirin. Um, as you can see here, it is um, the meta-analysis of 15 um, trials um, which were conducted um, to see what what effect aspirin has to a certain uh, disease. So it's 15 trials, you have um, the year, you have the, um, the effect, and you have the confidence value uh, to this effect, and you have the type of the trial, so it's basically cohort trial or a case control trial. You have the numbers But let's let's just let's just focus on this part over here because that's um that's the part we need for this um, for this introduction to meta analysis. Um, for the meta gen function itself, uh, we need uh, we need the data set. You always need the standard error. You need the standard error to uh, to compute this analysis, and uh, you need the um, the effect measurement and um, uh, we are using the logarithm of the effect measurement, right? So we um, we call this analysis meta2. We use the meta function. Uh, we get the standard error in it. Uh, we get um, the measure in it, and we get the data set in it. We're going to run this one, and um, the output looks uh, looks like that. So this is, um, I mean, you can do your your analysis or you work with that output in the console. However, I do not advocate this uh, because it's not, it does not give you this information on the first glance. Therefore, I would always plot a forest plot. And the forest plot is, uh, there is um, this function in this library, uh, which is called forest, and then you would uh, you will get in um, the analysis and if you run this one you would uh, you would get uh, the forest plot itself All right let's take a look at the forest plot so as you can see we have uh, 15 trials or 15 studies for this forest plot 1 to 15 going from sung um, to ready so that's the name and you also have um, the year so this is um, the studies itself. Then you have the treatment effect and the standard error of the treatment effect. And you also have the confidence interval, which is over here. So this data um, actually creates um, creates this part over here. So you have the confidence intervals and you have the mean or the treatment effect. And this this is this is then done for all the 15 trials and um, out of the treatment effects, there is the global uh, treatment effect calculated, which is this um, dotted line over here. Yeah, so this is our global treatment effect, and in this case, it's a 
it's a negative effect it goes to the to the left side uh, one important thing when it comes to meta analysis is the fact that you have um, weights so not every study is uh, is weighted equally you have studies which are more precise uh, which are having smaller confidence intervals or uh, which have higher numbers in the trial and they are logically weighted uh, weighted um, higher uh, because they are said or one can argue that um, that their result is more precise so um, the weights are basically given here you have the weights for a fixed and for a random effects model depends on which which model you want um, to use for your data set another important thing uh, when it comes to meta analysis is uh, the measure of heterogeneity uh, briefly spoken it is some kind of um, measure of the differences in the conduct of the trial so heterogeneity tells you if all the trials are measuring the same things because there is for example bias in selecting patients for all those different trials and other types of bias which also um, enhance the possibility of heterogeneity and in this case um, those measures down here um, show we have a p-value below uh, 0 0.05 that there is heterogeneity in that trial this was martin from r-tutorials.com uh, concerning this video you can of course leave a comment below um, if you like the video, please do not forget to subscribe and to give it a thumbs up because that's a very important measure for us and that tells us that we are on the right track and that we are actually helping uh, people uh, to get better with R. Uh, furthermore, there are plenty of other videos about R on this channel and you are invited to also take a look on those uh, to get even deeper into R. And of course you can also take a look at the website r-tutorials.com where you can find more useful information about this program.